Sahail, out with RB, and BMW GS1200 just literally came in this weekend just on the MOT on it absolutely clean this isn't even on the website yet so you're getting to see the first preview before we do the photo shoot on this and I always said I'm not a lover of GS's I'm still not but god this doesn't half ride well probably never ever get a better touring bike than one of these but just look at it go absolutely amazing piece of equipment this it's got uh, Tom Tom just off to the left it's typical BMW indicators everywhere and it takes you a while to get used to those Cancels on the right, there we go. That has got so much torque and obviously load this up with a set of panniers and a top box. <coughs> Two up on this and it would cruise for miles. Obviously posh person's bike this one. I tend to find the people that ride GSs are the people that want to tour. But this is so so beautiful but obviously i'm not a lover of those big engines it's growing on me it's growing on me all right but i still think these are probably one of the best touring bikes that you are going to buy what does it corner like well i've just reset the preload phil took it out earlier so it's a bit a little bit light on the back end it don't steer very well did you set the preload up I don't know but that picks the front wheel up <laughs> he did say I nearly picked the front wheel up yes it does pick the front wheel up if you're used to handling big sports bikes like I am even my GTR you can pick the front wheel up on it this rides like an absolute dream and I am just going to reach under and I am going to preload it just a little bit more that's better so you can preload suspension up, that's better. I can nice and mid to firm. That's how I like my suspension. I'm gonna have one more blast down the dual carriageway. I just want to check that I've got this preload absolutely right. Now obviously, being a BM when you rev it, it does kick off to the side. But you get used to it, you do get used to it. Yep, and it picks, <laughs> picks that front wheel up, no problem. Uh, not right off the road, but you can feel them forks coming up. And that is just the slightest bit of throttle. I'd hate to think what happened if I wrench that uh, power open full bore. But sitting a nice steady 40 mile an hour, it's sitting about 2,500 RPM as plus my GTR. So this is going to be available in about a week's time and if you want to get in early on this guys this isn't going to be here very long i take it once the adverts up somebody's going to rip someone's arm off for this and so it's uh, obviously done <coughs> 56,000 but it is it's absolutely immaculate you won't get a cleaner bike but just look that line pushing it into the corner now the preload set up Yep, beautiful. Nice steady fairy. But being a big bike like this, oh God, is she lovely. Absolutely stonking piece of equipment, this. just the power when you dial it on typical BMW GS it's all singing all dancing does what it says on the tin now obviously if I hadn't bought the GTR I would have bought something like this I do like the Africa Twins but this thing is just the bee's knees it's a big boy posh boys bike because you can put so much equipment on this thing and just go for miles and miles 
so it's going to be available guys eclipse motorcycles mk.co.uk flew through the MOT flying colours it's just had a uh, service as well there's absolutely nothing advised on it whatsoever it's got that uh, small screen to the front it's got a tom tom does it steer true we shall find out in a second my normal test that I normally do hands off the steering just look at that but the engine braking off of this thing there we go pulling in steers perfect it's a big old beast here I'd like to try this obviously on the flat but you ain't gonna get a better one than this so till the next time Another ride test guys, be well, ride safe and it's a big goodbye from me.